Town Portal. That yes. is how I'm going to be doing this. That's... Ugh, I forgot that I was on the third level. That was on the first level. Like I said, why is that so damn long? What is this? Yeah, it's still crap. Alright. Uh, no need to, to go repair it. He doesn't have any... I, I, don't, I didn't use it, so I don't need to repair it. Alright, so I've got the eye. Let's go this way uh, to the Flare Jungle, which is right outside... Right outside the swampy pit. Why didn't I do that the first time? I don't uh, because I honestly thought that it was just the one level. Why is there three levels of that? That's ridiculous. Okay, taking out all all these flares for another chip topaz. Always happy to get gems. I don't care about condition. Well, I do, but uh, I'll take anything. I'm happy to get anything, really. And we can just keep going up this side. I should probably head back to the other side very soon. But if they're going to let me keep going up this side, I'll, I'm going to take it as long as, as they'll let me. Nah, I should have that. Damn, there's a lot of players around here. They're just more annoying than anything else. There you go. Blessed Hammer, take out somebody. There you go. Uh. Hmm, assault Helmet. Can we see an Assault Helmet? I think that is an upgrade that we have not seen before. There's the snake. It is alive, but it's not moving there. Yeah. You know, I, I, I do want to go back and start looting if you guys let me, but I doubt you'll let me. Heraldic, sh heraldic shield. 21 R resistances plus 9. Where are you again? 30 hour resistance is plus 10. Yeah, the, the Aaron shield is definitely better than the heraldic shield. Uh, I rarely get uh, Aaron shields, though. I rarely find those. Okay, so let's go back this way and try to loot some of the stuff that I already should have gotten. Really? See, this is... Forget you guys. I'm not even, I don't have time to wait around for you. Forget you. Everybody likes you. Everybody hates you. They tell me we're behind your back. But they only tell me the truth. They don't tell you the truth. They don't think you're ready for it. Did I already kill the, the shaman? Nice. I, I swore I saw a shaman there. Okay. Nah. Just go around, kill anybody. Yeah, you take him out. Feel free to take on that guy. Alright, so there was nothing here. I find that once the uh, the first one is on one side of... Uh, of the river than the rest are on that side as well. So I wasn't expecting anything over here, but yeah, always nice to double check. Ugh. These guys are just becoming annoying more than anything else, to be honest with you. Ah, uh, they hit the tree. These damn flares, there's so many of them. Did you take out the... you did. I hear something. No, you didn't take out the, the shaman. Give me that gold. I can move on. I am going to rack up quite a bit of gold. I might even get max uh, if I don't die. If I die, then then I'll start losing money, and I'll yeah, it'll be fun times for anybody. I'll be bitching and moaning up and down because, oh, I can't believe I died. I lost all my money. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Usually, uh, the first time that I die is before or during Duriel. Like I said, I, I have not found a good way to beat Duriel ever. Um, even when I'm severely overpowered, I have trouble with Duriel. That is, in my opinion, the hardest fight in this game. Um, I mean, in terms of what level you are when you see him, when you have to face him, that kind of stuff. Uh, compared to, to some of the other guys, I mean, there there are tougher fights. Like, of course, the, the guy that ends Act 3 is tougher than Duriel. Uh, but based on when you fight him, I think it's the hardest fight in the game. Even harder than the uh, the final boss of the expansion, which is a ridiculous fight. Uh, the, the, the things that you have to do to beat that guy. But we'll get there. We'll get there. First, we have to focus on these flying things again and all these damn flares that would not leave me alone. And we found the entrance to the next place. Get down here. Just, just bless and hammer to victory, please. If you guys could do that, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you could take out that guy, he is casting fire on me. I'm not a big fan of him casting fire on me. Al-Hazir, 
Don't run away just because I did. Kill him! Thank you. Okay. So this one should lead us to a cu at least one more thing. If not the, the Flare Dungeon, then at least the Gidbin, if you remember. Those are the two things that we are looking for. Ooh, I saw an Amethyst. A flawed Amethyst. I'll take it. Die. Regular breastplate. Not that great. Okay. That's... God, that fire damage is destroying me. Wow, I almost died there due to fire damage. Like nothing else is, is bothering me. Where's my fire resist? 22. So I do need to get that up eventually. Hopefully I can do that soon. Because fire is, like I said, the thing that I want to focus on. I've been saying that way too much. I've been saying it, but in this game sometimes you run out of things to say. How is the helm? How are you? Are you something that I can use? Two-socketed helm. Oh, we're not even close to getting getting the helm stuff yet. Okay. And the uh, the bow, the long staff. One to shiver armor. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to keep that. I don't know how high up the tree, the talent tree that is. I don't know much about sorceresses. I, I honestly, I've never seen anybody use one. Um, I mean, I assume that they're good, but I've just never seen anybody use it. I don't know what to tell you about that. I've seen, you know, I've seen barbarians. I've seen necromancers. I've seen paladins. Uh, have not seen. Oh, I've seen assassins and druids as well, but have not seen a sorceress. That doesn't mean that they're bad. Just you know, I don't. I haven't seen it. So there's nothing here. Are you kidding me? You gotta be. Whatever. Somebody drop another great air healing potion. I could use one. So that is it here. That's that's very disappointing, and we need to move on then. Fine. Give me something else that's good. I was hoping that we could finish something off there. That was definitely a jewel. What do you got on the jewel? 1 to 17 lightning damage. Yeah. Fine. I mean, I am going to be finding a better... Um, a better uh, Grand Scepter eventually, so... I'm not... It's not like th that's going to be end game for me, but still. I'm, I'm probably going to still have that for a while. But, you know, 1 to 17 lightning damage isn't too bad. You know, it's got a high high max there. That's all you can really ask for for lightning damage on, on a single jewel. It's always going to start at one. Oh, really? You're going to make me backtrack just to, to clear out that spot? Better be better be a way forward f f through there. There better be the Flare Dungeon or the Gidbin on this side. Since you're making me backtrack all this way, better not be nothing in there. Uh, one thing that I did do today, I'm having a good day by the way, <laughs> I know it probably doesn't come across in uh, in in my commentary as, as much as I would like it to, but that's because I've trained myself to not let my day change my commentary, but I've had a good day today, it was a really good day. Um, I, I deposited a couple checks that I got, uh, so I went out and splurged, and by splurged I meant I went and bought two things. That cost me $25, <laughs> which is like not even close to how much I deposited. But still, it, I, I don't normally spend on myself, so I went out and bought myself a couple things. What the hell is this? All, uh, just all this gold lying around. And we've got Thrashers! I think these are upgrades. We haven't seen these. Oh, Lightning Enchanted on Storm Tree. Do not care. <laughs> he died. Yeah, Amulet, Crossbow, and a Chris. Didn't need to use anything. I can't carry anymore. So I went out and splurged, and um, like I said, just uh, just twenty five dollars. I went back to the uh, to the collectible store, you know, with the comic book guys there. You know, like half the store is for comic books, but I, I don't really read comic books. But if I go there on Saturday, I get a free one, so I'm definitely gonna go check that out. I'll get a, you know, if you're gonna give me one for free, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, but they had, and I kid you not two things that I, I just said like I need this 
<laughs> for five dollars, I got my choice of a reboot character. Uh, if you guys don't remember the show Reboot, well, then you're probably not as old as I am. But uh, there was a show on Toonami a while back. It took place inside a inside a computer. I've referenced it a couple times in a couple different couple different Let's Plays, but I loved that show. Entering Laura Karast. No, 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 no. We don't want to enter Laura Karast yet. Ugh. No, the, the waypoint's random in there, so I was thinking about going in there just to get the waypoint and then heading back. But we need to, to find a spot in the flare, flare jungle first. We need to find a couple things. So anyway, I went back to the uh, collectible store because, you know, I had a... Well, I have too much money to spend. I had a lot... You know, I was feeling good about myself, so I went and bought myself some things. So I went and got this uh, reboot character. I ended up getting, um, they called him Glitch Bob, uh, so it's from the later part of the show. Uh, after they go to the, to the World Wide Web, they go to the internet, and, uh, it changes, like, everything when they do that. Um, okay, if you guys aren't, no, forget you guys, again. no, okay, you land, finally you guys land. It took way too damn long for you guys to do that, though. Uh, it was after they went to the internet, it did change everything. You know, Little Enzo turned into Big Enzo, and Bob turned into Glitch Bob. So, he's got the silver hair, he's got all that kind of stuff. So, I got him, still in the box. Uh, I, can't, I can't say that the box is in mint condition, but, you know, he's still in the box, so he's in mint condition for five bucks. Can't top that. Uh, I usually just get, like, one collectible per, per thing that I'm a fan of. I don't try to spend too much, uh, really, how do I, I need to go back around this way. I don't try to spend too much money on, on one particular franchise or, or game or anything like that. Um, so I try to spread it out that way. Oh, you're kidding me. It's all, it's this spot right here. This one spot that I didn't, that I didn't explore. No, it's not here. So then where is it? So, yeah, $5 on Glitch Bob, still in the box. I'll see if I can get a picture of it uh, later and show it off to you guys. Uh, then f the other thing that I got, and this one cost $20, but to me it's still worth it. It's about 6 to 8 inches, I don't know, I haven't measured it, of uh, Ori from Final Fantasy X. Statue with his sword all caught. I mean, it's even got the little jug of whatever booze he's got on him. That thing is that thing is awesome. I'm back in the spider forest. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I know it has to be around here somewhere. Have I missed the flare dungeon? I don't want to have to cut it out and look for something. Seriously. Yeah, right here is the spider forest. I've explored. Okay, I'm gonna to to continue looking for it, and I'll cut it out. I hate doing that, and I'll continue how awesome. No, I'm gonna finish talking about Orin right now, and then I'm gonna cut it out. Okay, so Orin, he's got yeah, he's got his sword out, and once again. Oh, you're kidding me! It's right fucking here. Here's the good bin. Here's the good bin. And out comes a ghostly rat man, which is easily taken out, and His we get. Shall pierce the heart of evil. And he dumps out the regular Gidbin. Okay. Uh, let's look at the amulet. Let's do the strength. Not worth it. Heavy crossbow does not fit. All right, so now it's back to town, so I don't need to cut anything out. Okay, so uh, once again, when I talk to the guys, I'm like, "Give me Orin." He's like, "Who? This guy here?" Yes. I got of fucking there. Why do I out nerd you? This is Orin, man. It's not like it was Reno from Final okay. Fantasy VII. It was Orin. You have done well, noble hero. Ormus congratulates you. The old spirits of Skatsim will watch over you for returning their sacred blade. Now, after all these years, Ormus will once again use his powers to protect the innocent from the shadow. The spell that protects the dark side shall now be reinforced. 
Alright, so Ormus is going to recast the spell, I guess. So that is sweet. We've completed that quest. Uh, can I put you in there? Yeah. I forgot that I had you. Assault Helmet. One, ar one to pull our mastery. So they can use pull arms as well. Alright, uh, so yeah, once again, out nerded the guys in the comic book store. It doesn't make me feel good about myself, but then again, you know, half the store is dedicated this to. The magic ring does me no good. Here, yeah. wear it proudly. Okay, so he gave us a ring this time. And then he walked over here and he cast the spell. Nice. So, uh, I wanted to trade this stuff back to you. <laughs> nice. Uh, what is this? That's damn good. That is damn good indeed. 6% life stolen damage reduced by 2. Am I going to have to dump one of the... Okay, <sighs> mm. plus 1 to maximum damage, plus 2 to strength. Lightning resist and poison resist. <sighs> now I'm going to get rid of this. going to get rid of the thing that he just gave me. Sorry, dude. Not as good as what I had. Alright, nothing particularly good here. Plus two to Blessed Hammer and Resist Lightning. Yeah, not that great. Just one of concentration. Uh, so they're really into, you know, comic book characters. Talk to Ashira. And, um, you know, DC and Marvel and all that kind of stuff. So it doesn't surprise me that much that they don't know Final Great. Fantasy, but still. You know, it's Orin, man. They, he did say that he, he really did like the, the action figure. Once again, I'll, I'll try to get a picture of it so I can show it off a little bit later um, but haven't uh, you know I just got it today all right so we need to talk to Ashira now what's up Ashira you're not Ashira Ashira is way over here I keep on forgetting that I, I get Natalia and Ashira confused I don't think Natalia I swear Natalia gave you something though but Ashira is the one that's giving us all the quest right now now that fewer of the Iron Wolves are needed to guard the dark side, some of them have volunteered to accompany you free of charge. Sweet! So, uh, if you didn't have a mercenary, um, well, if you if you have a mercenary, get rid of the mercenary, then talk to her and she'll give you one for free. But, uh, no, they won't be free from now on. Uh, but once again, I, 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 I know a lot of people say that those are the best. Uh, mercenaries in the game. I disagree, though. I, I go with the auras instead of uh, the magic because uh, even if you like the the freeze that they can offer you, um, well, there's a character that can do it better than 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 the guys here. And so I will meet you back at the entrance to Lower Kurast because it's going to be quite a bit of a no. Wait, no, no, no. We're not done here. What am I talking about? We need to head back this way. Apparently it was right next to the fucking waypoint the whole time. We need to head this way because I need to find the Flayer Dungeon. Remember the Flayer Dungeon? <sighs> it was right here the whole time. I ran right past it. Let's go into the Flayer Dungeon. Now this is the next quest dungeon. This one should be pretty big, but I don't know how big it's gonna be. Damn! Get off my get it off my ass! <laughs> Man, they're dropping a lot of malls. Apparently these, these soul killers are, are new upgrades. They hit a little bit harder. Because I actually had to heal. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Everything's poison, so I'm ha <laughs> I am happy about that. Uh, and then these all stack, which is nice. So I'll try to remember to pick up choking gas potions along the way. I might forget, though. You never know. It's it's rare that I would pick those up in the first place. And we have upgraded bats. These are gloom bats, which is goes against everything I know about Pokemon entirely. Yeah, these soul killers are are a little bit of an upgrade. I mean, they're a substantial upgrade, definitely. Can I pick up? Oh, I forgot to put. I forgot to put all my money and stuff back in the. Well, can I put my money in there? I am so confused. No, I did not put my money in there, so hopefully I don't die, because then that money is definitely gone forever. Just picking up all this random stuff today. My mouse hand is too eager. Another choking gas potion. Nice, I'll take it. 
so yeah, I'm really good. Uh, I'm actually going to go out again tomorrow and try to find some more stuff. Uh, there were quite a few things that I had found that I was kind of concerned. Ooh, an Ethrin. I actually went to an antique store because I know you can get some collectibles there for cheap because they don't know what they're talking about. They're like, I don't know what this is. $20? Yes! <laughs> uh, but the only things that they had there were too expensive for me. Just out of my price range. <laughs> Uh, and I wasn't willing to spend that much money because I suck at spending money on myself. I really do. Um, the only things that they had there that I, like, absolutely wanted uh, were over $300, all three of them. Um, one of them I, I thought was cool is just a random thing. That I'm like, you know, hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, but I don't yeah, have no idea where I would keep it, no idea where I'd put it. Don't even know why I particularly wanted it. It was a... Uh, early 1900s, like 1920s or so, um, Navy ship compass. I mean, it's one of those things that's got its own, uh, you know, s own s gyro stabilization mechanism, whatever it's called, so that, you know, it, as, as you move the whole, um, ship, it stays level all to itself. Can go over here and cast it, and it does spin around nice. Now his ear levels up. Now he can kill things a little bit faster for me. Uh, gloves. No. As far as I can tell... Can you... Yeah, gloves, they, they can't be socketed, I don't think. Um, I don't think gloves or boots can be socketed. I know helms can, um, and body armor can. Oh, there is a what? <laughs> One that dropped a superior mace. Okay. Uh, they had a ship compass, right? It was huge. Uh, I don't, I have no idea where I would keep it, why I would keep it, but I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. Not $300 cool, though. Uh, then, uh, the other thing that they had, there were two other things. Uh, one, they had a signed, uh, not poster, but kind of like a, a picture. And it was signed, it, it was of Star Wars. It was for the, 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 the original Star Wars movie. Um, you know, number four, I guess you could say. It was for A New Hope, and it had, um, you know, everybody's little face on it. Um, and it was uh, signed by the four main actors in the original Star Wars game. Yeah. Can you deal with that while well, I'm over here? Uh, it had the original four main actors. It had Mark Hamill, of course, who was there. Uh, Luke Skywalker. It had James Earl Jones, who was, of course, Darth Vader. It had Carrie Fisher, who was Princess Leia, and Harrison Ford signed it. All of them signed it. Just over $300. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to spend that much money. <laughs> but that thing was awesome. You know, I want it. And I know it's been there for a while, actually. Because um, that's where I go for Christmas shopping <laughs> when I get stuff for old people. And by old, I mean, like, anybody over the age of 30 is going to be able to find something that they want in a, in a in an antique store, I know. It's like my secret, my secret shopping spot that nobody ever knows of. I'm like, it's awesome! And it's cheap, too. Cheaper than new, that's for damn sure. Uh, but they had that, and I was like, I want it. But I could not... Really? They come in, they, apparently they form stocks of 25. The choking gas potions. Uh, so I wasn't able to afford that one either, even though I still want it. I'm not willing to spend $300 on myself. And then the other thing that I was thinking of was actually a signed uh, plaque of Ted Williams commemorating the, the last season that he got, uh, that he batted 400, which is... Uh, Something that even I, as an Angels fan, can truly appreciate. But nobody has done that since. It is, it is an achievement that I don't think will be done anytime soon. They are, they are talking like, maybe somebody will do it this year. They, yeah, they say that every year. Don't, don't buy the hype. Nobody's going to do it. Nobody's going to bat 400. The last guy that was even close was uh, Tony Gwynn, um, who did it when I was a kid. So, I mean, batting 400 is a huge achievement. He batted 406 that year and had the little newspaper article saying he hit 406. And he had signed it just over $300, not going to spend my money. Um, there was also a Spock uh, little action figure, I guess, 
but it wasn't very good. Only five bucks, and I was like, you know, if I'm gonna go get a Spock thing, I need to get something that's better than that. So I'm saving my money until I find something different. And I'm gonna head uh, this time to uh, to an anime store, a proper anime store, uh, and and they'll have at least some things I know are gonna be better. So uh, you know, typically I I, I like. To